raid sirens blaring in Kyiv. As residents woke to the sounds of a fierce battle in the distance. Fueling fears a possible attack on the Ukrainian capital is not far away. Russian troops are creeping closer. British intelligence suggests most ground forces are within 25 kilometers from the center of the city. But Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky told a news conference Saturday Russia would have to carpet bomb Kyiv and kill all of its residents to be able to conquer the capital. This is what's left of a village on the outskirts of Kyiv, demolished by a Russian air raid. This man says he doesn't understand why his community was a target. Peaceful civilians live here, this man added. We are in contact with uh, our friends and acquaintances who are in Kyiv and in the nearby uh, towns, and it was terrible. So we decided to leave. More than 2.5 million people have now escaped the wrath of this war. I can't speak without uh, tears. I'm sorry, but I'm really sorry for my country. And nobody could expect this, really. This is awfully awful things. They're bombing Kharkov. They're bombing Nikolaev. It's only 120 kilometers from Odessa. Another attempt Saturday to get aid into the southern port of Mariupol, cut off from food, water and power. But the constant threat of shelling has already led to what Ukraine's foreign minister called the worst humanitarian catastrophe on the planet. In another southern city, hundreds took to the streets to protest the alleged abduction of its mayor. The Ukrainian government says the mayor had refused to cooperate with the Russian forces occupying his city. The occupiers must see that they're foreigners, they're foreign to this land, to this Ukrainian land, and they will never be accepted. New satellite images from Saturday released by a U.S.-based company appear to show fires and heavy damage to civilian infrastructure and residential buildings throughout Mariupol. Now, while the leaders of France and Germany unsuccessfully pressed President Vladimir Putin to agree to a ceasefire on Saturday, Ukraine's foreign minister says the country is ready to negotiate to end the war, but Ukraine will not accept any ultimatums or surrender. Karen Siolin, City News.